A huge thank you to all the super sponsors who make it possible for me to make these videos, and welcome to new super sponsor Skemic. Visit David X Newton on Patreon to join the ASCII Brigade. Here we go! This is a map from uh, CBM's Booked project. Uh, where maps were given a theme, I think, to build from. And uh, this one's by Demon Dice. It's called Beneath a Timeless Cathedral. Let's see where we're going. I think that's a comment on the usual uh, new map things, just monster encounters placement, ammunition, health, the usual stuff. I think what I'm noticing the most uh, just now from this moment is the rooms are a bit boxy. They're all very cubical. Uh, you've got these uh, tracks going up and down on the doors, and uh, you can fix that by hitting L when you're, they're highlighted to uh, set the lower unpegged flag, and that'll make the track static when the door rises. It's quite a strict grid you've got here. Whoops. This is going to not turn out well. There we go. All right, we're safe again. And I'll have that. I don't know why I did that. Let's open that, okay. All right. I actually want to explore this area just a little bit first. Because I think there are... Oh, there we go. Is that secret uh, telegraphed? I suppose it is, yeah, because uh, those uh, two ships are together. So that's not a normal ball. Oh, hello. That's also a nice little uh, vantage point there that you can get into the room without uh, alerting the Hell Knight, so you're at an advantage. There we go. Yeah, so uh, to make your rooms a bit less boxy, I would play with the ceiling height a bit more, uh, and also non-orthogonal lines. You can see it's all 90 degrees here. Uh, you've got an interesting thing down here with the uh, crooked uh, lava flow going through the room. And you can also set your doors back so that the door doesn't reach the ceiling. Have a little, uh, I've forgotten its name. Is it the jam when it's above or is that the floor? I don't know. The top bit of a door, uh, make it stretch across so that the door isn't the full height from the floor to the ceiling. And then you can go mad with ceiling detail. Back over here now, we've, uh, yeah, we've got some height difference here. That's another try. He's not very effective there because he's got nothing to revive. And uh, I'm, it's quite easy to just get out of his way. <laughs> he just doesn't want to be bothered. He's uh, like a man coming out to complain about the neighbors making noise. All right. Custard creams. Message from Doom World. Oh, there we go. That's something interesting. There's a little trap there, giving you uh, more monsters when you least expect it. Oh, come on! And you can see here it's rather easy for me because my vantage point is where I already am. There's no, there's nothing to pull me into that room before, uh, before starting to fight. 
if you'd made it something like uh, I had to come around here before the spider masterminds revealed, then I'd have a real problem. I'd have to get out of her way. Right, there we go. Uh, you mentioned in the description that you were interested in uh, how much health there is on the map and if you're using too much because you feel that you use too much. Uh, you're asking the wrong person here because I also use far too much health in my maps. Uh, you can see there's a lot here uh, and I'm not having to use most of it. There's a supercharge over there. I would save supercharge for, you know, rare secrets. I've had two of them in the map so far. And uh, don't feel that you have to put in medikits to apologize for encounters either. Uh, if the player gets through encounters unscathed, then that should be the reward that you... You should uh, get rewarded for playing well and uh, avoiding losing your hit points. So definitely don't be afraid to make the player go significantly further between uh, health top-ups. Thank you, all night. Yeah, here's an interesting looking room here. You've got all kinds of uh, uh, height differences, ceiling heights, and uh, the floor is being sort of taken over by this uh, marble structure like Hell's Invading. Oh yeah, that was right here, okay. Uh, oh, there, there's a switch, yeah. And you've got that thing I described as well, where you're using walls above the doors so that the door doesn't have to reach the ceiling. Uh, you could set that back a bit so that it doesn't come out of the wall so much as well. Yeah, I can see what you're doing here. You've got uh, this hellish invasion, these three layers of the room. You might want to make just little steps up and down between the uh, uh, floor and ceiling changes. Because that's something that makes those uh, changes look a mo lot more natural if, if you don't just flow into one on the same uh, vertical height. All right, and I think we have reached the exit. Uh, short map, everything worked as it is, uh, and I think I would just uh, think about more non-orthogonal lines, more interesting rooms, play with shapes a bit more. There's a lot of secrets as well. I can see another one just uh, over there. And, uh, yeah, you can see you, you do have far too much health in it. Uh, I would... You can get rid of at least half of it. Possibly more. Uh, that's not the right uh, thing I'm hitting. Uh, your secrets are only given away by the map and there's no... I've got invulnerability there as well, as if that wasn't enough. Um, there's nothing to indicate secrets on the uh, playfield. But maybe you maybe you want it to be like that. Maybe your idea of uh, secrets is the player's got to examine the map and see where these uh, irregularities are. It all depends on the approach that you want. All right, no longer invulnerable, but uh, very healthy and very armored. Uh, we're going to take our leave. Thank you very much. Thanks once more to everyone listed here for sponsoring my videos. If you'd like to join the Discord or have some ideas for future games to cover, please look at David X Newton on Patreon.